How's it going, guys? Right, I don't usually do pickup videos, uh, but I got an absolutely massive pickup, uh, which I think I should show you. Um, right, let's quickly go through uh, what I got. Uh, these are the consoles that uh, this came in this big bundle. So uh, starting off, we've got a uh, original NES, a yeah, Super NES, and we've got a uh, N64 in the uh, clear turquoise, which is quite nice. And I've got one of those. It's got my purple on it at the minute, so that'd be good for the collection. Uh, another GameCube. Then we got uh, an original Game Boy. And I also got a uh, Game Boy SP in the NES. Uh, edition, which I've not got one of those yet, so uh, that's again a good part of the uh, collection. I've also got a Master System 2, a Mega Drive, a uh, Sega Saturn with the uh, RAM pack on the back there. We've got a uh, PS2 and a PS1. Also uh, Game Gear as well. A uh, good part about the PS2 here. Um, it's actually also got the, the uh, PlayStation hard drive and uh, internet port there on the back so uh, I think it's got about 10 or 15 games uploaded on there as well right so let's move over a sec Oy. okay then this also came with a mass of games as well um, Mega Drive and we got like Aladdin Sonic uh, the classic Shaq Fu uh, and sort of Super Nintendo we've got Micro Machines, Star Wing, Earthworm Jim Mortal Kombat 2, FIFA Soccer, Bomberman 3, Castlevania, Super Mario World, Top Gear Racing, Zelda, F-Zero, Jurassic Park, Mario All-Stars, and for NES, got Balloon Fight, Tetris, and Marble Madness, Silent Service, and Bubble Bubble, and on GameCube, and we've got Bloody Raw, we've got uh, Legend of Zelda, Star Wars Rogue Leader, uh, Pitmin, Mario Kart Double Dash, also, this is completely nuts, uh, Mario the Wind Waker, uh, completely sealed up uh, version, and I've seen these go for like about 30, 40 quid on eBay, so uh, that's just nuts, that's not even been opened. A uh, load of PlayStation games here as well, we look through, Prince of Persia, Jax 2, Quake 3, uh, Sled Storm, Awesome Burnout, Jack 3, Shadow Man 2, Burnout 2, uh, Soul Reaver 2, Jack and Dexter, uh, Deuce EX, Star Wars Battlefronts, Prince of Persia, Gran Turismo 3, Gran Turismo 4, Gran Turismo Concept, The Getaway, Def Jam Vendetta, Awesome Game, Wipeout Fusion, uh, Ace Combat, Squadron Leader, and moving over, N64, a couple of versions of Mario 64, Perfect Dark, Turok 2, Top Gear Rally, and of course Goldeneye. And we've got a few Game Gear games, I gave some of these away because uh, it came with about six, but I gave one some to my friend for his birthday. Uh, so we've got, uh, what's this one, uh, Sega, sort of Game Pack 4 in 1, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and we've got Game Boy, Mario Land, and Wario Land. Uh, I'm not quite sure what that's for the Game Boy Advance. Hmm, don't know what that is. Uh, Game Boy Advance games, then. We've got um, one with no label Guilty Gear X, Mega Man 3, Need for Speed Underground, uh, X Men, Super Mario Advance, Street Fighter Alpha 3, Metroid. Then moving over. For the PlayStation, Moto Racer, Virtual Pool, Brian Lara's Cricket, that's about 17 of those I've got now. Um, Formula 197, Road Rash, Actual Soccer 2, um, International Soccer 98, International Soccer Deluxe, uh, Game Day, Moto Racer 2, Doom, and LMA Manager 2001. Got a couple of bits for the uh, Saturn as well. Got a uh, Japanese. Virtual Fighter 95, which also comes with the expansion pack as well. Not Virtual Fighter, sorry, King of Fighters, my mistake, sorry. Um, then we've also got a uh, action replay for the Saturn as well. Then, moving on, uh, Mega Drive wise, a couple of Mega games there, one's not in great condition. Bit of Shinobi, uh, another Mega games, 
Altered Beast, Smash TV, uh, Lemmings, we've got uh, Ghouls and Ghosts, uh, Dr. Ronnie Botnick's Mean Bean Machine, Streets of Rage 3, FIFA 96, and awesome uh, Thunder Force 4 as well. Then for the uh, Master System, Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog Chaos, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Double Dragon, Dynamite Duke, Batman Returns, Double Dragon, Back to the Future 2, Super Space Invaders, uh, Donald Duck, Wonder Boy 3, Pitfire, Tasmania, Golden Axe, Alien Storm, Pac Mania. Right, I'll show you some other stuff. Also came with a game wallet with an absolute massive PlayStation games. And then we've got, uh, moving on through, a load more Saturn games, Soviet Strike, Street Fighter Alpha, a couple of Virtual Fighters, and Street Fighter there, a bit of Daytona, X-Men, Children of the Atom, can't wait to play that, I've been waiting to play that for ages, uh, a load of Crazy Taxi, Jet Set Radio, Sonic Adventures, more Virtual Fighter, Soul Calibur, Tomb Raider, load of stuff, virtual tennis, um, we've got some Dreamcast boot discs and stuff, and an absolute load of PlayStation 2 demos, um, the PlayStation 2 sort of, yeah, these like cheap discs and stuff there, a load of those, game saves and stuff, load more demos, more demos, more demos, more demos, just keeps on going demos, 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 so loads of that. I'll right, show you the next bit. Okay, it also came with a uh, massive box of uh, con different controllers, power supplies, everything for all the systems. A uh, load of multi taps, a couple of PlayStation multi taps, PlayStation 2 multi taps in there. Uh, yeah, massive joy pads and stuff. PlayStation 2 stand. Uh, then we also got like a <laughs> Ferrari steering wheel controller, classy. Um, Nintendo GameCube uh, Wavebird, I've already got one of these, so uh, yeah, another one's pretty cool, so yeah, wireless wireless GameCube controller, again, they're worth probably about 15, 20 pounds, so that's cool. Um, and we've also got uh, an original Xbox arcade fighting stick, which again, pretty you know, nice sort of setup there. Um, then we've also got, this is a funny item, uh, the uh, lovely Game Gear ba uh, Power Pack, uh, which of course the uh, Game Gear was... Uh, always had sort of batteries that lasted about three to five minutes uh, even when you put like a pair of Duracells or something in it. So this is the uh, huge mammoth battery pack that you're meant to uh, charge up and then clip on the side of your uh, belt uh, in the 90s which would probably give you around about 10 or 15 minutes battery power. So uh, not got, never used one of these before but quite looking forward to getting that charged up to see how long it lasts. Uh, one of these was quite excited about this. Uh, a Namco, was it a uh, is it Nedgecon? Um, so the controller. Uh, now these are pretty cool. They, I can't show you because I'm holding the camera. But they, they kind of twist as you're playing it. Uh, so it's meant to kind of um, sort of move in with your hands. But I, I've always wanted one of these. And they're, I uh, yeah, can't wait to actually have a go with it. Um, yeah, they're usually pretty expensive when you see them on eBay, about sort of 20 pounds ago. So yeah, I might look for another one for us to get a pair. Okay, so that was about it for everything I got. So the price. For all this stuff, about 13 or 14 <laughs> systems, I think there's about 150 odd games, um, all the extras, and all the, the discs and stuff as well. I paid £160 delivered. Uh, the guy brought it to my door as well. Uh, he's just having a massive clear out and um, <clears throat> just wanted to get rid of everything. So that was it, so £160 <laughs> cash paid delivered to my door for an absolute bucket load of retro goodness. Alright guys, uh, thanks for watching, hope you uh, enjoy this uh, mammoth pickup and I'll uh, catch you soon with some more reviews.